know, and right, that was a it's a, a pivotal pivotal result. You could see how you were celebrating with the fans at the end. Uh, yeah, well, we knew going into the game it was they were the closest challengers to us, so very important game. <coughs> going into the last quarter of the season, but it wasn't pretty on the eye, I don't think, but um, it felt good to get the win. Like, that's the games you'll remember at the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, 16 points for 12 games, that's quite a, that's quite a cushion you've got. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's a kind of testament to the players this season, to have that, to have built up that uh, gap is kind of brilliant, but it's still not over yet. We just need to keep going until it's mathematically impossible for anyone to catch us, but we're, we're doing the right things and that's the attitude we've had all year, so no point in changing that now. You've, you've, you don't look like a team that's going to go on a losing run of five games or anything, which is yeah. what, what it really needs to, to be for a team to get Aye. back in the title. If, that's one thing I'll say about is we've got a good attitude and that's credit to the coaching staff as well. Uh, I've been here, I signed last January and I've never been beat back to back yet for over a year so we've, it shows you the kind of spirit we have got and can, things can happen, you can lose games, you're playing a team that want to win as well so you can't look too much, don't get too high the highs and low the lows, just try and stay steady. If you get beat then just try and bounce back next week, that's it. The manager said that uh, John Lennon done his team talk before, before the game, suggesting the you know, cracks were showing uh, is that something that the players felt as well? You know, uh, uh, well, obviously, we've, compared to the second quarter, we've had a, a slight dip in form, if you like. Um, but the only two teams above us in the last in the form table for the last six games were Forfar and East Fife, so we're, we're not. It wasn't uh, too bad, can we? I think it was Drew 2, lost 2, and 1 2, which is it's not great, but for our standards, it may have looked that way. But we, we never felt we were. Uh, in free fall or anything like that. Just, we knew it, it was a tough stage and it's hard over Christmas. Pitches get a bit stuffy and things, but I thought we got through it okay. And coming into the nicer weather and things, maybe start playing better football and try and just keep doing what we're doing. Were you aware of what Rafe had said before the game about it? No, no, I never, never knew about it. Uh, well, obviously, our manager told us, but um, we were motivated enough through the training during the week. And, that's all we needed. We're confident. We've, we've always been good games against Rafe. It's always quite tight, and that's the first time I've been part of a side that's beat them. So it's good. It's quite a focal crowd behind you as well. Quite noisy. Sort of yeah. Ah, uh, it point. does. It's, it makes a difference. It does give you that extra drive when your legs are getting tired, and you hear them just giving you that little boost towards the end. Um, there was a little stage, like ten minutes to go. I think we just heard them roaring just for no reason, and it just obviously they. Maybe seeing we were getting tired and that helped us and that's okay, it's a whole team effort, fans, everyone that's involved with the club. That's what it takes to win a league or do well. How, how much of an achievement could it be for the club? Um, <coughs> given I mean if you look at the throwers resources they're, they're obviously much greater than a gross but to to go on and, and if you do go on and win the league, how much of an achievement would that be? Ah, it's a great achievement to win any league. Um, <coughs> playing with a in a league with a full-time side, maybe more than an achievement. Um, we've got good players as well, so I think if you look at our squad on paper, if anyone else looked at them, they'd maybe say that we should be up that end. The manner in which we're winning the league just now is pretty impressive. Um, I think everyone's seen that, but it's, it's just the, it's a mixture between the sort of skill in the squad and the team spirit as well. I think you need a bit of both to, to be doing what we're doing just now. Fans were saying about peaking blind or something now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was funny. Um, singing that in the dressing room as well. Yeah, for was yeah. Uh, he was. I don't know. He danced, but that's so what days like this do for you. I had he sat sideways and all that. Yeah. Worn it out. But as days like this allow you to have fun like that. Yeah. Uh, you so you did that full time in the dressing room. Aye, uh, I was on a wee dancing. dancing. And you're off singing, my Yeah. Got to enjoy these moments, eh? So yeah. look back at and remember days like this. I think. Who's the singer in the dressing room that starts a? Uh, singer. Well, it was a gaffer, it was just kind of <laughs> sort of sing and dance, but I'm going to try and challenge him to a sing off it, I just got put it in my place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, there's no, I don't, don't know who. Uh, Jason Thompson, I could say that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a few babies though, first. <laughs> Does that kind of underline your spirit, though, the fact that you've, you've got that? Yeah, I've got a good team spirit. You need that, as I said, to win. You can't just have skill in the squad, you need, need both. 
rough overs, we've got really good players and, and technically gifted players and <coughs> um, we're still again, we're in front of them so it shows you it's not just about that, um, I think we're maybe got more of the balance just now and that especially what it takes in this league to the minute. Uh, I, 